Well, with the way with with the way parents are today, you know, and um, no wonder the millennials are the way they are. Well, my parents brought me up even, you know, I hate to sound hot as a cop or whatever. They taught me how to lay down my utensils in order. You don't just throw them on the plate. You lay them next to each other. My aunts, my uncles the same way told me how this right. No, you do that wrong. You do it this way. Well, you, you also were raised to be a clean, orderly person. Oh, God, yes. You know, God, yes. I know people that, you know, and they don't have to be idiots. They, they could be very talented, but sloppiness where everything is just scattered all over their There's desk. a lot of people that have, no matter how smart you think they are, they have bad hygiene, they smell, they carry yeah. body odor. And the one thing a lot of them yeah. don't do is bathe frequently. Oh my God. And I, 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 I go every Especially day. Especially when they put cheap, these, these guys, uh, these European, uh, guys put cheap aftershave over body odor. Cover the smell. Use a straw. A straw works better anyway. I, I will not use those little things. They don't. They don't move anything. You have to spend money to make money and to keep your customers and get new more customers. But apparently this. Oh my God. There's no excuse for this. This franchise owner evidently just doesn't get it. You need a manager to go over and tell these people. You know what's going to happen when we eventually win the bucks? But going to get? What do you mean going to get? You mean as in cockroaches? They've already they've already had mice for years, Catherine. My friends. Told me, my friends told me when Russell was here about in the selection machine they found cockroaches. Oh. Oh. And, and could you imagine if they're there, they could be in the milkshake machine too. I said, Russell, are you kidding me? You don't know what you're getting. Or your burger, you won't see Well, they like. They like sugar and grease. I know it's, but there's no. No, the point is, there's no excuse for this. No excuse. You have the guy on roof. The guy in Saddlebrook, I hear, is a fanatic. His McDonald's every day they've got a brick oh, place every down. Day you have to go to the by the Walmart. And that's Claremont's. And here we are by Claremont's. Yeah, Belleville. Belleville, right? Yes. And there's a, there's a McDonald's right there on that main street. Okay. I want to say, the lady was not here. Taking trays from people. And you no know, sooner got up that table was clean. Yes. The place is clean. I don't know what this You want to see this place? You're not here. You know I come in at 6 six fifteen every morning. It's I have to grab towels, clean my table off, the floor. I said, you can't leave this place like that overnight. And there's a non, I was watching um, some YouTube videos. There's a non-toxic way to kill these this, these pests. You know, um, the pool stores where, you know, where they have supplies for swimming pools. You buy what they call diatomaceous earth, diatom powder. You put it on wax paper or newspaper, you put powdered confectionery sugar on it for bait, and what happens is the diatom powder desiccates them. It sucks all the moisture out of their body. They die from desiccation. For any, any insect that's considered a pest, they, they die, they dry out. They die from desiccation. There's no excuse for not cleaning. And it's non-toxic. There's got to be somebody that wants to do Because this is a health versus food. The more that stays on the table, like that, the more it breeds germs. I, I, yeah. Or more people. What would the Board of Health say about this? I could go to health health and here. I could show you what you want. Well, if there's nothing, if there's nothing. I'm really worried about you. Never run the state of these prices. Well, this guy doesn't seem to care. Kathy, 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 the most men girls have been out for five, six weeks. Okay, so who cares? Both Hackensack and Garfield Board of Health, I caught them both <clears throat> just giving me a snow job to blow me off. The, the first one, Hackensack, was about Bagel Buffet that used to be by Pathmark. Say, saying that a person who handles money with, even with gloves, and if they touch food, there is no cross contamination <coughs> because germs don't don't grow on money. Are you are you kidding me? 
Every, every low life handles money. Every low life handles money. What? I said, I told somebody five, six weeks ago. I said, Liz, you want to be rude. But your maintenance guys have to go push the shit at one point. They didn't notice that to fix it. You know, Rick, this doesn't ever come here, right? He's got 49 of them. Listen, if you they... The bottom line, it's been five or six weeks ago. If they find... You know, the ladies room, there's bonuses I said, Kathy, I don't work here. I'm doing more than the manager. If they found bacteria and viruses on an ATM machine touchscreen, of course it's going to be on money. Money I, is the dirtiest. I reported yeah. this case for months. Well, that's the side, but yeah. I reported this over a month and a half ago. That's the whole point. Well, I mean, this like this before. It wasn't that good with the previous one. Yeah, but she says, oh my God, look at this place. Yeah, sure, sure. You're only here two days a week, a weekend. But she's a great worker. That's only two days, Kathy. No. Yeah. First of all, hello. Hello there. I can see you over there. I said, Joe, you wouldn't even turn around. I did I ordered two lattes. Yeah. Yeah, how everybody make them? Yeah, what is she doing putting chocolate? Oh, I told you two hot latkes. Well, the one, you mean the one on the right hand side? Yeah, the other one that's wrong. Yeah, well, I was just telling Kathy, I told him six weeks ago about that. How you feel? How you feel? Those urinals are out. Those urinals are out. Really? Six weeks. I take oil of wild oil of wild oregano that I get at shop right. It kills everything. It really works. Come on. It's just people don't care anymore. Yeah. And, and with the Garfield Board of Health. There, we, there used to be a Spanish-Portuguese place called Pescador. Huh? <laughs> There's no coffee here. Oh, come on. Yeah, she, she's, she's a, I hate to say, she's a Momo. Momo's galore. Get a hamburger, you get a bun, but no hamburger. <laughs> well, it's a space sandwich. Oh, this is Two slices of bread, bread with nothing in the middle. This is not good. Hi. Oh, thank you. But this so, is not good if you're doing things like this. So, milk, it tastes good. It's not milk, but it's good. If you want, if you want to go, if you want to go to sleep at night, yeah. Now, now, there used to be a buffet called Pescadores, a Spanish Portuguese place in Garfield. They weren't putting out clean plates at the buffet. People were, were going bing, 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 bing on the dirty dish. I says, the health department says, oh, don't worry, there's no, no germs can be transferred. I says, how the hell do you know? I never heard of such a thing. I never, no, they're just lazy at home. Yeah, but the bottom line was, yeah. It says they're lazy. Why are you lazy? Yeah, why? You're getting paid. Why don't you care about your job? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there is for the board of health. Why are you lazy? Why aren't you doing your job? And then, and then Lodi Animal Control. I had a possum that was sleeping in one of my garbage cans. He won't leave. They said there's nothing we can do about wildlife. I go, yeah, but you're animal control. Lodi Animal Control. But what do you do if the, you can't do nothing about wildlife? There's coyotes in Lodi. What if they're they decide to hang out in my my yard? That's a lot. That's a lie. We can't do anything about wildlife. That's a lie. But what do you do? They can, they take care of all life, domesticated and wild. What's well, called animal control? They're they're, well, they're liars. Oh, uh, woodchucks. Go for it. They, they call them groundhogs sometimes. Yeah, they're chubby. They did chubby. Nice tunnels, Don't get rid of those. <laughs>
Well, the town's supposed to send somebody down. No, I think the best thing you do is go up the ranks, call county, then you call state. That's local, if local will do it, you go above their head. That's like an insurance company. Yeah. Just put like wood, and then you put a cement block so they wouldn't come. They go go after. But that's still stupid. You shouldn't have to do that. That's like an insurance company ignoring your claim because it's an act of God. The well, gentleman gee. I run into from Burton County uh, Animal Control, I know him here. I see a lot. He does everything. He keeps me informed of the animals he saved and where it's been adopted and this and that. Because we, we take care of them. We take care of them. I know one time we had a squirrel and they didn't want to come. We had four people that come and they, they trap them. Right. That's what we had to do. The animal control and they were like, they were free to run around. That's what they so you had to, you had animal control. <clears throat> so you had, to, you had to get your own humane trap. I had to get my own. Well, I had to get my own. You have all these agencies that, that, that don't want and she to had to pay out of pocket. This is insane. And what did what they do? What county are you, Passaic? You're Bergen too? But this guy in Bergen, he does, he does it all. Yeah, me too, Bergen County. I lived in Corny, Hudson County, we had no problem with Bergen County. Because I had it in the garage and I put a label on it. She said, we got no control. We're going to have a door open. That's not our problem. Go contact county. Go so, over their head. Try to get him out the more the neighbor can. Billy's right. But you have to go up the. If they don't do it local, you got to go county. Then it's yeah. So what is their job? Pushing papers around the desk? And what, what we did, we gave up one night. We went to the corner to get him out because we wanted what's, to jump on you. What's, what's Joe doing? He was eating all the wires. Joe got the wrong order because of her. That. Here, no, he he got um, some lattes with, and she put chocolate syrup in, and he never. He said, oh, I didn't know you were coming never, back, Joe. Oh, man, yeah, she, he wants you put. He wants to put you to sleep. Hot cup of milk. Oh boy. This is insane. Oh, my fungo. Oh, oh chinola. With brugal. What else? What else? What else should happen? I'll have a Brugal and Chinola milkshake, please. <laughs> I went home last week. I ordered too much chicken. Uh, the other night, got home and it was warm. So it's just, oh, God. This is, this is a reality show and a half. Oh, it's Huh? Yeah, you're doing it all wrong. You're supposed to go outside, sit on it, and get out of here and fly away. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Quack, quack. A lot better. Yeah. I don't know what happened over here. It's going way. It was bad before. It's gotten a lot worse. I'm surprised the owner is the best He doesn't seem to care. That's why he doesn't he doesn't fix you the know, men's room of, toilet. Most of these machines are <coughs> older than the kids who work here. Oh, most of these machines are 25, 6, 7 years old. They told me. Yeah, and, and I wonder how often Hasbro Kites Health Department inspects this place. There we go again. More paper pushes. Oh wow. Well. Straws, you're better off and they're bigger and they stir better. Sir. Mm. And I feel sorry for well, the, the one up there does not focus when you talk to her. That's like if you ordered a coach handbag online and you got uh, some 
some cheap one. <laughs> well, their regular burger is almost like their regular burger is almost like having no patty in it. Well, that's Wendy's. Wendy's advertises fresh burgers. Yeah. This company? Oh, I guess they're they're trying to compete with Wendy's. Honestly, I love Popeyes. Popeyes. Oh, it's um, incredible. The side dishes taste just ho like homemade. Oh, wonderful. It, it, it blows away KFC. It blows away. And and you don't have to get the spicy Cajun one. You get the mild one. You can order. My mother likes the mild one. Uh, Do they have the regular chicken with that spicy Yeah, mild. Yeah. Uh, crispy. Uh, but I mean the side dishes, when you order mashed potato with brown gravy, you get you see pieces of meat in, in the gravy. It's real brown gravy and the mac macaroni and cheese. Yeah, the closest one to you. Yeah, there used to be an Arby's down there, remember? Yes. We've got the meats. Oh. Long John Silver's is coming back? Oh. Uh, remember Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips? I, there used to be one in uh, Lodi or Garfield on Route 46. I used to go there all the time. Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. Yeah. I, I used to put the malt vinegar uh, on, on the codfish. But I, I go to all these store and I get their beer battered cod fillets. There's hardly any breading on it. It's it's all solid scrawd cod. You can see it's solid cod. I like that. I don't like when they, you know, the Mrs. Paul's or Gorton's, it's all minced pollock and they give you a lot of breading. I won't eat that. No, yeah, but you could tell it's a nice solid codfish fillet. With very Give it a shot. Oh, and their and their popcorn shrimp is good too, and their butterfly shrimp is good, uh, and their barbecue chicken sandwich. Golden Corral. It's supposed to be where the path marker used to be. Heck, I hope so, because there is. I don't know of any Golden Corrals. But they keep on at, it's like Denny's, you know, you see a Denny's commercial, but in Florida's loaded with Denny's, even Kenny Rogers Roasters. When I was in South Florida, Kenny Rogers Roast, but the chicken is so so scrawny with Kenny Rogers, it looks like a, like a little pigeon, like a squab, yeah. Yeah, I used to go. Um, I know there used to be one in Fairlawn, but the people were complaining about about the barbecue smell from Kenny Rogers Roasters. They had to they had to leave. I I love the smell of good barbecue. Yeah, but they had they had. Yeah, like the Seinfeld episode when Kramer Kenny Rogers was uh, across the street. And he, he opened the blinds and, and, the, and the red neon light was coming through his window. <laughs> that was a funny one. Cosmo Kramer. Right, talk, talking about how they had to pull out of Fairlawn. Kenny Rogers Roses. And I, we mentioned the Arby's that, that left. She said uh, that we almost had a Long John Silver's move in, in, into this area. Yeah, but they moved out of this area. Why would they come back in? No, this is turned out where Five Yeah, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. They Starbucks as opposed to Arby's now. Yes. Cheap burnt beans. Hundred and twenty five or hundred and fifty. Over overrated, overpriced burnt coffee beans. Uh,
good. I want to want a macchiato. I want a latte or uh, uh, column. I think it's just a Scottish thing. A lot of people go in here. They think they're hot shots. Well, the yuppies want to be big shots and they want to get a macchiato. Yeah, macchiato my ass. Uh, oh, you know, you know who got a great iced coffee? Believe it or not. When my friend from Canada was down, Jeff Zambello, we went to, we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts in, on Main Street in Lodi, and I ordered a large hazelnut with no sugar, just milk. I didn't need any sugar in this ice. It, no, no, a hazelnut iced coffee with milk, but no sugar, but milk. I said, I don't need sugar in this. It's fantastic. Between the hazelnut flavor and the milk, I vanilla bean. I always see French vanilla like in all of these. The ice cream is like a dollar ninety nine. I see French vanilla and vanilla bean, but I like the vanilla bean. Yeah, pistachio is very hard to find. Ice cream. Yeah. Friendlies is the only one that has pistachios. Yeah. My grandma used to love butter almond, which is hard, very hard to find. Butter almond. What she used to call it? Almond? Yeah, you know, they were... They, when they came from Sicily, they, were, they lived in Hell's Kitchen, New York, you know, so they had their own way of pronouncing things. Sandwich. It's a different kind of garlic. It's a different kind of garlic. You know where I saw. You, you know that show, that new, that show uh, Jerry Seinfeld show called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. He picks up the comedian in a vintage. Every show has a vintage car. They went to the Bendix Diner. One comedian. They went to the Bendix Diner over here in Aspen. Yeah, and they had Robert De Niro's picture was in there, and they. One of his episodes, he, he picked up a comedian in New York. They went through the Lincoln Tunnel. They went all the way to the Bendix Diner. Yeah, and then and they said Robert De Niro does go there. I they need to fix that diner up. So they got good buffalo uh, bison burgers, but it's it's a greasy spoon, you know. No, it's a greasy diner. <laughs> it's a greasy diner. I think it's a real estate and it's got a lot of land. Well, food. Yeah. But what else could you use that for? But you need to fix yeah. that place up. I mean, yeah. what else can you put there? Do something. A like low dive pizza. What are you going to put in there? No, no, no. To keep the diner revitalized. Yeah, but even if you sold it, what are you going to put there? Keep the diner. But I'm thinking if you sold it, what could you put there? You know that what Bob. Was, what could really go in there? Did you know that when Bob Dole ran for president, they one of his rallies was at the Bendix Diner? Ab absolutely. What could they put in there? Think of it. No, no, we're not. No. I would keep the I would keep the diner, fix it up, and fix it. I bet you if that diner ever goes out, they knock that whole triangle just out. Nothing else will go in. Hey, hey, Billy. Did Nothing the, else will go in. Did the actor William Bendix start the Bendix diner? Yes. Yes. <laughs> William Bendix, you yes, remember he William Bendix? Yeah. He worked there. He, he was the manager there. William. Well, that is his family's diner. Yeah. William Bendix. Oh, there was a company called Bendix. No, but that's his family's. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'll remember to jot that down so I don't forget. Does that doctor still have you on eight, me eight meds? I hope he cut it down. I'm trying to understand what this drug for energy is. I thought I didn't get it. Yeah, I thought B complex and complex carbohydrates gave energy to the body. No, not like these drugs. Not like this one. Energy. It's like amphetamine. It sounds like. Right. What is? I like that. That's an upper, right? Yeah. That's good shit. I like that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You ever laugh at the Cialis and Viagra commercial? If you get an erection that lasts more than four hours, go to the emergency room. <laughs> oh my God! But I will be so embarrassed. I walk in into the ER. And, Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Got a boner and won't go down. No. You think they would like look at you without cracking up? The new one? Yeah. 
It's all on there. You back in your car. Jeff Sambello, Commodore Jeff Sambello. What, Jordan Mady? It goes through a thing. It goes through. You stay in the car, you get out, it's a self-service car, but it's not in the middle of the car. It's over there. It's a station. There's nobody working there. I don't see workers. Oh, I'm sure there are. You know, you got to pay somebody. We used to sit here to see workers. It's too weak. 100% out of here. You got to have to take your mats out. They vacuumed. They washed your mats. There's nobody there. Look at it. The cars are going through there. I can't think of I just thought that was real funny. You know, it's not that big a shape. Yeah, it's it's funny thing. as hell. Like most of these places. Like down here, the 100% Arabica, 100% Arabica beans nice, brewed into blissful pay a flat beverage of, perfection. Of, of $20, $30, $40 for the month. Unlimited. It's like a car dealer commercial, right? So you do it two or three times, it's paid for itself. Where's this at? Most car washes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't need this thing for five dollars, Joe. Think about it. You go over here to one. Gracie's Wild you Adventures. Pay, you pay, uh, I think, twenty or thirty for the month. As seen in bookstores. Unlimited. Think about that. You know every day. A friend of mine does. Yeah, a lot of them do. You go twice, three times, it's paid for itself. I'm sure it's better than this drive through, drive through yourself, you know. It's insane. Shout out to Ken Thiessen, the Thiessenator. That's why he figures he'll make his money without having any over him. How long? We'll see. It was, it was under seven, so. See, you, you guys like are... anything else, you have to go to a reputable place. You get a really good, great job. You know, you pay $18 for it. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. Yeah. 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 The machines that could possibly scratch your car, you mean? Oh, wow. I went to Ridgewood years ago. I used to always go to Ridgewood Auto Wash. They're, they're like, they've been around 50, 60 years. They're that good. I went to their auto detailing division. Boy, what a job. I, I was like, my God, look at this thing. Well, they have exterior Oh, they have everything you want. Yeah. So if you don't want to do it in the park, $7. Yeah, you can do anything. It's whatever you want. They have a whole list. And then for every 10 washes, you're going to do Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, you got to give. You don't have to do it every time. Like he did one time with the 70 chain, with the 11. Right. It's all done by hand. The only thing that does machine is at the end when your car blow dries it. But even the machines are great. They don't use the brushes hardly at all anymore. They all use those giant oh, chamois. Big, big giant chamois cloths. So even that's great. Yeah. That can be better than the hands. Because that'll really put it into it. Where the hands can be, the, ha the human body will get lazy and they'll get tired at the end of the day and say, uh, I got this, I got this vinyl patch. Oh, I walk because I see it by the window, so if I go through, it does these springs and it fits in the Oh, wow. Yeah, those are the kind of guys you don't mind tipping. You, know, you don't mind that they're tipping. Because they do impeccable work. Good yeah. stuff, so. in, in my car, in the Ford, one of the uh, vinyl patches on the door is peeling off. So I used the best glue that I had in the house. I used two different kinds of glue. Super glue and I used this plumber's glue. No, did you, did you know it won't stick? I used this special plumber's glue that they use on pipes that is like really, it's really good. You're, you're talking the fabric, right? Versus well, it's, it's a piece of vinyl. Well, you better get vinyl. Like well, that, that guy on TV, they say his stuff is incredible. Gorilla? Gor well, that gorilla's great, but the other guy. They, they say everything, it's, he's expensive. Oh, wait a minute. But they say he is phenomenal. That's the black stuff, Flex Seal? Well, he's yeah. black stuff. Yeah, no, like I can't say right. black stuff anymore. Because now he's got clear, he's got white, he's got tan, he's got all different colors. You know what? I'm going to get a tube of that. Said, I've had friends here, they said, it is incredible. And, and it, works, it works underwater. And they like it better than Gorilla? Why don't you go out in the boat? Yeah. 
Did he cut no, that? no. I believe it's testimonial. With the sharks? No, yeah. no way. No way would I go out in the boat. They say everything he claims is true. He's got the clear tape and he's got the sharks. You can see swimming in Yeah. I don't... You know, hope that thing don't get No. You sure they weren't the rubber sharks on the Batman series? No. When Batman was He's climbing, yeah. nah, climbing trust, the ladder? Did you see that one? I, yeah, I heard his part was phenomenal. They say it's great. Yeah, I've been watching Battle Bots on the Science Channel. Man, that is so cool. They're robots with weapons, and they they destroy each other. And, and the winner get, it becomes the world champion. It's a big it's a big nut, the trophy. It's a big giant oh, yeah. steel, steel nut. Cinder blocks. But they say, like his stuff, you see it works even underwater. Oh, yeah, you have a pool. Yeah, and you have a leak. You get that tape going, you have to go right I've heard more. more now, that's guys, impressive. More guys use that in construction or whatever. They say that shit. That's and impressive. Glue with the bricks. In a second. That's in a second. He squirts it on and puts it right on and lifts it up. Maybe you should try that. It'll work. You know what? I think I better get a tube of that. Spill it because you won't open your doors anymore. Can you imagine? Do you remember years ago that 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 wife or girlfriend got mad at her boyfriend or her husband? Going to sleep and she took a super glue, put it on his hand, and put his hand on his penis. No, it's not funny. No, I know, not to him. Yeah. I heard people put crazy glue in pots on the car. Well, that too. And then you got a problem. Yeah. Now, speaking of modern high technology synthetics, there's a company called Cold Steel that sells walking sticks that looks like real wood. But guess what? You whack a cinder block with it and it shatters. It, it's made of polypropylene. You go like this, bang, one shot, and the cinder block shatters. The cinder block shatters or the cane No, the cinder block shatters. That's why I'm so impressed. It's polypropylene. This is stuff, uh, incredible. Really, uh, high, high technology. It's dangerous. Super glues and all these things. Yeah. Synthetics they, they are, are very powerful. So what's going to be that in the world? Anything made by... If this is porcelain, you can try and use samples of porcelain glue. No, maybe that flex seals. They said there's works on any and all surfaces. Maybe that flex seal is the answer. The one I'm talking about, I can't remember the name. Flex seal. Flex seal or flex seal. Yeah. Oh, that'll work on this one. And they sell the clear one. Yeah. Make sure you don't you open a door. Yeah. Well, it's on. It's on the side. Of, it's not near the lock. It's on the side. You know, I just. What is the material itself? Yeah, it should, all it is is a piece of vinyl material that peels off. Hey, but no, no piece of material compared to holding the bricks. I mean, vinyl. And you see that big plate of weights in this stuff? Come on. It does that. You know what I'm going to say without even talking about it? Go online, look at the complete line, and determine what you need. That's it. End of argument, right? But this is the one I need. I need this, or I need the calls for it. Or no, no. Or the big tape or no whatever. argument. It's just amazing that no, I, mean, I, I mean, discussion. Technology. Argument. Technology just is amazing. Find out what you need online. Use it. Well, there you go. You know, maybe it's available in retail stores right now. I don't know. Well, everything eventually ends up in. You know. Uh, You're not missing much. Remember the Odd Couple uh, episode with the barnacle glue? It only works when it's wet. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, yeah. oh, speaking of glare, why can't these establishments put in, you know, tinted windows, dark tinted windows? That is, but it's not heavy. That is an anti glare. Joe, that's no tint there. There's no tint here. Come on, man. You ought to see in the morning when the sun first comes up, everybody moves. And gets, oh, They're all God. blinded. Huh? They can't find a place to sit. Who has shades and blinds? Dunkin' Donuts. The, do the Dollar the Tree, they're roasting the cashiers. Because money is cheap. He won't spend a cent for this place. The other guy was cheap too, the, uh, the bald headed guy. I don't know what he is, but he's bald. He owns 49 of them. 
Oh, he. Oh, so the original one still owns this this one. Okay. No, different owners. Because he, I, he, when I first started coming here, there was a ball headed guy. They both were bald. The new owner is bald too. And, uh, I guess it's like Daddy Warbucks. When you go, if you become rich, you go bald. I guess. I'm going to show me a picture of him. I don't know what he is. He probably has a douchebag looking face, most likely. Like Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates. Mm, but I know he's got a lot of the same people. The same twin girls I know. From the previous owner, they're the same. They're still regional directors. Why do you keep shaking your heads? I'm I'm invigorated by this enthusiasm. Why do you do that? I just did it once today. That's it. That's all. I'm invigorated. We all are, but we're not doing that. I know. You just talk with your hands when you get excited. I'm not using my hands. Oh, that's right. oh, okay, O'Keefe, man. Okay, O'Keefe. Come on. Used to be a fun-loving guy. Well, the whole world of people's attitude takes the fun out of it. <laughs> they take the fun yeah, out Yeah, but we're fun. having a nice time here. And so what do you think of to give him a week to fix that machine? What, which machine? The locking machine. <laughs> well, Don't hold leak, your breath. The big leak, and the big, big leak over here has been over two weeks. <laughs> oh, jeez. They've had how many people there to fix it, and, the and over it keeps leaking. So what does that tell and you? And the overflowed uh, a, a men's room... Uh, the urinals have been six weeks. I told them about this. Six weeks. Yes. So what does that tell you? Oh, no wonder they don't flush. Oh, that's They're always yellow. Why do I have to tell you? You should know. You're the manager. You should know. It should be a checklist. I shouldn't have to that's tell a man. you. You have an automatic walk through every single morning. Every day, you have a checklist. You walk through. I ask people that all the time. I say, where are all these so-called spies that come in like a regular customer? Secret where shoppers. Where is this? Where is it? This has been a Mega Life 21 production.